Alright, I have discovered the issue with Mega Drain. Oh yeah, plot, plot, plot. Um, the issue with Mega Drain is that it has not so good PP, considering it's our only uh, offensive move on Briar. So, I am going to use some of those PP ups that I've been hoarding. This was not planned. But hey, it's, it's, it's a good idea. I, was, I don't know what else I would use them for. So anyway, XD001 is is awesome, apparently. Well, hello there, guy who is slightly buffered than the rest of them. So that guy was a bit of an ass. He had a fortress that decided to use counter, and uh, I know who'd be dumb enough to use a physical move on a on a fortress. Yeah, yes. Yeah, Anyway, this guy has Shadow Pokemon as well. Two Shadow Pokemon. Uh, in the first place, we got Cold Dark and Now, even in a non-snagging setting, uh, Briar Sleep Powder is really useful, uh, assuming Briar can outspeed the opponent, which it generally can for fighting types. So I'm going to try to put this in top to sleep, so it's not a danger to his on who is setting up. One of these days, Sleep Powder is going to miss and it's going to screw me over. But, for now, excellent, dandy, jolly good. Awesome. Stun Spore, really don't need it. Got Sleep Powder, got Poison Powder. Stun Spore is just an inferior Sleep Powder in, in terms of catching things. In fact, I cannot think of a situation where you would rather have something paralyzed than asleep. Considering putting Aerial Ace on Azan, but Aerial Ace is the prize for clearing Mount Battle level 9 or something crazy like that, uh, so that's that's a ways off it's a, if it's ever happening. It would replace Shadow Ball, and Shadow Ball's pretty useful too. Hey, Shadow Pokemon number 1, Venomoth. Bug poison, as is Beedrill, as I apparently mistakenly did put it. I don't know, Beedrill sucks either way, so I really don't care about misidentifying it. And Golduck goes down as well, so we got two Shadow Pokemon on our hands. And since Azan is kind of a devastator, I think we're gonna have to ship Azan out when we deal with this Weeping Bell. Now, Weavemail is going to be kind of annoying, because I can't put it to sleep. The one thing that is yet to come back to bite me in the butt, uh, is that they can, in fact, wake up, which way may happen. Briar's not so good at taking shadow hits, I've noticed. That's, that's a bit irritating. But, oh well. Guess we'll just have to live with it. Because it's under waving on Weeping Bell. I'm pretty darn sure I can't put that thing to sleep. Using the powders on grass moon, grass Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, does not work. At least in my prior experience. Yeah, this isn't really a great matchup for Briar either, so... Oh, because I'm ingrained! Oh, I didn't think of that. That's a bit irritating. That's... that, that could be a drawback in the future, actually. Deal with Venomoth, then deal with Weeping Bell, even though Weeping Bell is, I think, a larger threat. Because of the Shadow Raven. Shadow Rays do a lot of damage. I don't know, maybe I'll get Paralysis Hacks and get, I don't know, Lucky maybe? I don't know. Might be nice. Be very nice. Gotcha! Anyway, now we are down to uh, just Weaving Mel there. Oh well, Ryer, very, very useful, I have to say. Even though the Ingrain's a bit of a butt, very, very useful. 
And gonna throw the ball in the zone's turn. Use a quick attack in case that doesn't work. Gotcha! That was way more threatening than any Weeping Bell should be. Anyway, we can head on up. There's an item box. Screw you, Mr. Scientist. I want the item. TM26. This is Earthquake. This is awesome. This is going straight on Ebby. Not sure why Rin can learn it, but <laughs> much more useful on Ebby for devastating things. Uh, don't really need Defense Curl since I got rid of uh, Rollout, so. Ta da! And that, I think, is going to be most of the uh, uh, moveset shenanigans we're going to be having. And let's see. It was, I don't think this guy is Shadow Pokemon, so. Oh my good golly gosh! That guy was actually reasonably threatening. I'm I'm surprised. So let's 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 heal and uh let's just do a roundabout heal. So we have a fairly tough uh shadow fight coming up. I mean it's not the boss fight, but still pretty tough. Uh, that last guy did not have a sh any Shadow Pokemon, otherwise I would have shown it. Uh, but he did have relatively high levels, 34s and 35s, which is still relatively threatening. I'm saying relatively a lot. Pretty threatening to his on Briar, even though Briar was already dead. Um, but yeah, look, be on the lookout. He's not a pushover like the other people we've been fighting. So, I guess we can leave now. Oh, you, I know that stupid hat. I don't know how overloading something can delete data, or why you don't have a backup. Whatever. Here is Smartin. Remember Smartin? Probably not, because he wasn't very notable the first time. But Smartin, yes. He's also pretty threatening, by the looks of, uh, of this Pokemon here. Evolved things, relatively high level, while well, I'm trying to raise other things. So at least for uh, Briar and Azan, this will be a pretty even match. He only has one Shadow Pokemon, though, so should be able to narrow it down just to that. There we go, Zon's sort of catching up in terms of levels. Taunt, don't need it. Taunt's useful for Wi-Fi if you're skilled enough to use it. I'm not. We're starting there. That's the offensive one. And here is our Shadow Arbok. Hi there. Hey there, there's a wheezing in an Arbok. Hey, hey, it's funny, see, see, it's funny, yeah. There actually is a guy, or girl on Mount Battle, I forget which gender, uh, that has a Cacnea and Chimeco, which, uh, and they say, hey, I've heard that there's someone with the same team as me, do you know who they are? And yeah, it's, it's James. Anyway, here's Shadow Half. This is a bit of a butt. Uh, cuts everyone on the field's HP down to half. I don't know if it's half of their max. No, it's, it's half of what they had before, I guess. It's kind of like using Super Fang on everything. So you don't want to use too strong a move on that Arbok, otherwise it will cause problems for you. And again, Azan, you're, you're gonna have to skedaddle, because I don't want you killing things here. I kind of like having 
certain Pokemon designated to destroying things, Fable and Dazan, but also having things just... Well, I guess that Briar's the only one designated for just snagging. All the others are relatively multifaceted. Yep, we're good. We are good. Faux Shizzle, My Nizzle. And get that Ultra Ball in there. Sleep Powder just in case it fails and wakes up. Gotcha. And we only have two more Shadow Pokemon to go in this area, and they are both in the boss. So. Wait, we're making good progress, alright? I'm not sure what's through here, but I definitely want to go back and heal first. So, I'm going to go do that, I will see you in a sec.